guys, I got something really exciting today. Uh, you probably haven't seen it before. If you have, you may have seen it on that other guy's YouTube channel. Uh, we got the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. It's going to be released at SHOT Show 2015 here in a week or so. And uh, this is my first time playing with it. I haven't really touched it yet. Uh, messed around with it, but I haven't shot it yet. So it's going to be the first time doing that. And I'm going to see what I think about it. Pretty cool little smooth shooter. I like the sights on it. Nice big rear sight. Get that front sight in there. Uh, playing with it around, just messing with it before uh, I came out here to shoot it, and even just now shooting kind of reconfirms it. I would like to see this gun in the SBR be a pretty cool little truck gun, uh, easy to hide somewhere, easy to put somewhere, and you know, keep in the house for home defense with some good home defense ammo in it. The controls are very similar to what you would see in the H&K, you know, just all around. Um, if you like the H&K style controls of the MP series guns, you would probably pick this gun up and be able to run it. Triggers, um, I think it might need a little bit of work to it. It's not the lightest trigger, you know, it's what you would expect with this kind of gun. Um, maybe a little bit of break-in period. You know, I'm a believer that a lot of guns, people say they need breaking in, but they really, they shouldn't. A gun should be great from the factory. Uh, this trigger probably needs a thousand round trigger job. Uh, it's got a little bit of a few catches in there, but I think it'll smooth it out. We could probably do a little something to it, smooth it out a little bit. You know, somebody who wants a gun in their car, in their vehicle for traveling, uh, it's something to go out to the range and play with and have a lot of fun with because it's 9mm ammo. It's less expensive than shooting 5.56 or 308. Those are some good uh, good things for the gun right there from the start. It's semi-automatic, obviously, and you're not going to get it in full auto. But the uh, you know having a stock on this thing or having a SIG brace on it, I think it really enhances this gun a lot and make it appeal to a lot of people who just want a pistol caliber carbon. It worked. That's the first step. You know, a gun needs to be reliable. I need to put some more rounds to it to really see if it's something I want to trust my life with and know to be reliable. But I've heard a lot of good things. Scorpion's got a pretty good history of being a very reliable gun. And so I wouldn't expect anything less than you know, good reliability out of this gun. Uh, recoil management and everything else, the sights, the ergonomics, the way it's all set up, the hand stop you know, comes with it and everything. I, I think they got a winner right here. I think it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, what I'm not going to quote the price point that I think it is because I'm not 100% sure. but. The price point that I have in mind that I think they're going to come out at, this gun is going to be a hot item. I think, uh, I think a lot of folks will pick it up and it'll appeal to a lot of people who want you know, this kind of platform, something they can take home for a relatively small amount of money. One hand, uh, pretty much what I expected. Not too much recoil, not too much jump in the gun. I had you know decent pushback like you would expect from a 9mm, but as far as muzzle flip, muzzle jump on it, very little of that. It stayed there pretty stable. Having these sights, uh, an aperture type sight or peep sight, that far away from their, their face is or your eyes is always pretty difficult to keep that front sight in that rear sight. Since I explained that the sights were a little bit, you know, being far away from the face, kind of hard to get that target acquisition through the sights and good sight alignment. I'm just gonna try to give it a little shot here, multiple targets on the move. Playing with this a little bit, I really like the magazine release. It's a nice little location. It's all ambi. The whole gun's you know, pretty much ambi right here, with the exception of this uh, bolt release. But you know, having that little mag release right there, it's a pretty slick location for it. You don't have to come up with that next magazine and change magazines AK style. You can go ahead and get that mag out and then get the new one in. Pretty nice little feature. Especially with gloves on, where I like the magazine release right here, where it has it just really catches on my glove really nicely. Uh, one thing I find that I don't like a whole lot is there's just very little texture on the grip. You know, I'd probably have to stab it a lot of time with a soldering iron or something because it's just it's kind of slick. I would like to see some more texture on that grip. They do have a nice swell down here at the bottom so that it holds the hand in place so it doesn't move up and down. But I think it'd be uh, a little bit better off having a little more texture on it. A couple more things I found. You know, I like that it has really tight rails on the gun. So any accessory that we put on there would be really tight to the gun, not something sticking way out there. And I also like the magazine well. It's got a pretty wide cut magazine well to funnel those magazines in for those quick reloads. Another thing, so you know, people you know, use slings quite a bit, so for quite a few different purposes, but they've got ambi sling attachments built into the gun here, which is pretty cool. Um, being able to go for the lefties and the righties, since the gun is ambi, it just makes sense to have some uh, ambi sling solutions stuck into the gun.
I'm guessing the way they designed this gun was for this. I don't know. But as I look at the gun, the best place for me to hold this gun is all the way against hand stop right here. It's far up here. And then wrapping that thumb around over top. It looks like the gun was made to be held that way. And it's very comfortable. And it's a good grip. I like it a lot. And also, my thumb remains under the front sight, so I don't have any issue at all. There's a lot of clearance there of my front sight over my thumb, so I don't even see it in my sight picture. But are you picking up any of the blast, the muzzle blast from there in your thumb, or can you tell with the glove on? I'm not feeling anything, and I also have double layer glove right here, so I don't feel anything at all. No issue at all. Nothing. Didn't really expect any. I mean, it's nine millimeter. If we're shooting five, five, six or something, or we might see a little bit more fire coming out of there, but totally be fine shooting no gloves. So, picking up a new firearm for the first time, tell us about your thought processes. What, what, what's going through your mind? You know, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm very familiar with the M4 series or AR series weapons, uh, AKs, and a variety of other firearms out there. When a new gun comes on the market and I start seeing them come to classes, I love when I get a new gun. Because I sit down and look at it, I think about, okay, how would I solve the double feed problem? How would I reload this gun as fast as possible? You know, and, and those, that's fun for me to go out and find that new gun that I don't know anything about and figure out ways to do things very quickly and efficiently. Um, the Scorpion, you know, I, I'd like to spend some time with this one and just get down some, uh, so how I would teach this gun if I just want to show up in class. Is there little things about this gun that I'd want to tell them about? There's a few guns out there that have gotten really popular in the last year, and I love when they come to class because it lets me show, hey, here's another gun, here's how it's set up, here's what you can do. It's different than the way you would treat your M4 or your AR, but this gun right here can be better in this way. And people come out there with these, uh, like the IWI Tavor. They bring that gun out and they just have no idea how to run it. But there's some really cool things that a lot of folks don't know about that gun and how you can just keep it running, keep it going. So this is an ongoing process for you with this Scorpion? Oh, absolutely. Brand new. Just popped his cherry.